Hi, welcome back. So today we're going to do the unboxing for ISS Vanguard, the Lost Fleet. So the Lost Fleet is actually the, the stretch go box for the ISS Vanguard, but it has only been delivered um, right now. That's almost like about a year since I finished the campaign, uh, the core box anyway. So let's take a look what's inside the Lost Fleet. Uh, I have actually unwrapped some of the necessary stuff so to you know like save time so you don't see me cutting things up um, you know and i have already taped the side of my uh with washi tape this is the normal way i usually preserve my the cover on my top layer okay so um if you are, if you are familiar with my channel you will know that i do this whenever possible and i actually have kind of like remove this out so that you know it's like um, don't get away but look at the engraving on the you know plastic sheet you can clearly see uh, iss vanguard you know so and there's an indentation here, uh, which I think is good to keep some of the stuff here. I think this this looks just nice for some of the uh, bigger cards from the personal file or something like that. So I, I'm not sure yet, but let's see what we can do with that. Okay, and uh, the first thing that greets you when you see this, oops, oh man, oh this hurts me. <laughs> okay, but anyway, it's a very very thin rule book. Okay, so. Um, we have some stuff that there are some mentions of what are the things that you probably need from the original game you know some of this stuff you've seen it you know like uh okay i don't know if you call it spoiler or not but you know we're going to go through the components so definitely there'll be some form of spoilers uh if you are expecting to like run through with me on this but you know it's better to have spoilers than to have missing items right okay so uh these are some of the things that comes with the base game okay and the uh, first thing that you actually need most important thing is uh Okay, looks like my dogs is protesting but anyway um this is the most important page among everything here which you can see here and uh, i think it's important that we run through the most of the components here so that you're familiar with it and uh you know yeah you can actually count all the stuff on your own to make sure that you're not missing any stuff because i had been uh, told by somebody on my channel that there could be a chance that there's some missing cards and stuff and i've experienced actually uh missing some of the uh the transparent sleeve myself from the uh, original campaign but uh, Awaken Rams is uh, pretty good and uh, they actually shipped me the replacement uh, sleeve as soon as possible and I'm very grateful for that uh, so they do a good job for customer service although it's like you know um, it takes a while for answering I guess there's a lot of people you know are getting support but okay let's go through some components here so if you are familiar with the game so this is the system map which is which is where you travel to you know like the uh, so this like first page not really much of a spoiler i guess but, um you most likely end up in the omega pulsar and then uh, you know you can visit interest place in this um in this uh galaxy or solar system you call it and then uh, you actually can you know like interact with it uh in the uh, app or in the uh, logbook and then uh, there's also some stuff you can do so for example if you take a look at this yeah you know yeah there's some description of this artificial satellite and then you know you look at a logbook and what happened and make some choices and stuff and there's also like the this is the uh traveling outbound on this system this is like how much cost it takes to jump to another system so basically this is the you can think of this this, this is like the star logs uh, where you actually go to different system from it and uh it, you have a similar book that comes with it in the core box so uh, i think there's nothing new this is the sleeve that actually goes into your ship lock and uh, i'm happy to see that there's actually two new sheets which means that there are more uh, interesting stuff to actually explore um there's this new thing called diplomacy i guess and um uh, obedience and uh there's some survival quarters upgrade so um we shall find out what happens to this uh, survival quarter stuff soon enough and this is the uh, planetopia which actually is the game board basically you know you place card on these places uh you travel around there's not so much of a dungeon crawl but you know it's that you travel from place to place uh there are some conditions of travel so this one i won't go through as in the rule uh and then um you know there are when you go to certain places there's some interaction and then not much of spoilers you know you just read the log and then something might happen you might put card out here you might remove card and stuff and there's also a track to track some of the uh, you know like your supplies and stuff and this is like the uh the, you know the bad stuff the tr the thread on this planet like you know what's going on and things like that so um it i don't think a lot has changed from the look of this it looks like there's actually uh, quite a few planets i think 
fairly a lot I will expect it to be uh, let me see this is about 25 pages divided by 2 that's about another 12 system here to go which is uh, you know good news that means there are more adventures looking forward for us and of course we have some new sheets uh, which I think will be replacing the one in the uh, original campaign so you will see again there's, there's this new star star map sheet uh, there's new debriefing sheet maybe the instructions are slightly different I'm not going to go through that uh, our loading is the same you know like you know I guess but uh, maybe there are some additional stuff and uh, we have another blank page which I think is goes together with our loading yeah? well and uh, behind it is the med bay where you know you know people get uh, injuries and all this and this is the time to get them healed up and also we have uh, another page here that is the save point basically this instruction on how to store this for your next game and uh, you know this is new the survival quarters is probably something uh, that's unique to the lost fleet and we have some standees so um, so these standees i'll run through them slowly based on the uh, because i already kind of uh, check you only have one sheet of standees so you know if you have everything here you're probably not missing anything but just to do a tally you have two lenders so uh, these two are the new lenders i think this is leverton this is saber tooth and uh, you have uh, like uh thing thread standees there's like six of them uh no sorry no six uh, seven of them so it's like uh, one two three four five six and seven okay so this seven of them and all these the rest uh you don't recognize them they are like the round equipment items so you have uh one two three four five six so there's uh six uh, mission equipment so there you go there's all the standees that comes with the uh, stretch goal okay uh and you have this is your the two new ship i guess i'm not much of a spoiler anyway you you're bound to see this when you unpack so saber tooth is uh another bad lo looking like this oh this looks almost like a cannon but yeah, i'm not sure if it shoots any arsenal out of it but you know this looks like an awesome well metal <laughs> but anyway um i'm wondering if i would use this in place of any of the others so we have, have to actually go and check uh what are what are the status of my last ship i can't remember i recall i lost one of the ship due okay spoilers but you know i lost one of the ships okay due to something that happened in the game and this looks like the you know the 40k landing port for the space marine but anyway that's the leviton uh i guess this is usually just for landing probably it might not have a lot of uh, other stuff but looks like it could have uh, heavy armor i'm not sure so interesting uh there's another box here okay which doesn't say much but it's actually a box that you fold up uh, i think it's used to store some stuff the operation book and the log book which actually is you know where all your you know those strange numbers you see yep so they're all here okay and this is uh, also some of the other stuff which is so all this by right should be on the app so i have actually never touched the two books that comes in the core game when i uh, you know play with it and then it's like i'm using the app all the while but the only sad thing about right now is that i wish to start this campaign as soon as possible but unfortunately i think the narration is not ready for the uh lost fleet or the uh the second the deadly frontier so um i think that's going to hold me back for a while unfortunately <laughs> But nevertheless, let's not let not that uh, ruin our you know unboxing. So we have a uh, this called alien dice. So we have three of each colors. Okay, so there's all together nine of them. Okay, uh, and we have a stack of um, equipment cards. So all these are the square equipment cards. So make sure that you check. Uh, let me see where do we see the equipment cards? The the square stuff. You can't miss them somewhere. Uh, oh dear, this is like oh yeah, here it is by the bright light you know here so you are supposed to have 34 of this okay so you unfortunately when you count through them you can actually like look at it from the back and then you know you count through them uh and as usual uh these are printed back to front so you know you probably want to like so you start with 199 and then you start counting back to zero so you may want to like you know just flip them over so that um number one is in front okay 101 is in front and then the 109 is behind and then you can just put this into the uh the slots inside your main core box so i guess uh, i will place some of the stuff in the core box in order to play so i don't need to like carry this additional box out one box to play the game is usually my principle but we shall see if that's going to happen for is vanguard and uh we have one uh dividers for the survivors so i guess this is like the the, the, the guys that you have on the ship so it's a, it's a very thin divider, I guess. And uh, I'm not going to open this, but this is basically all the, the big stand cards, okay? So this will be all the cards that are... 
is um here they will have all tracks okay so these are like the you got new species and stuff okay, so these are all the track cards the 21 of them uh and you're supposed to also have the um wait let me see if i got that wrong because this looks like it's standard card size um I don't think so. I think I probably I'm probably right. Okay, so you have like the two sheep cards, the cards that represents the uh. Okay, so they are here actually. So this is the uh. This is the just not that's the divider. This is the uh, double sided. So you will have level time on the other side, and uh, you are gonna have some of the uh the threads, which I think is, is is this actually. So although they didn't say the sizes, but these are like the, the big cards, so they are like these sizes. Okay, so uh the track cards are basically like all the uh, enemies. Okay. Anyway, so I will just like flip out one up. Okay, so you see this is like the enemies and then you have certain uh, action in order to defeat them, okay? Capture them or whatever. And then uh, they also comes with another uh, other cards. So they're actually supposed to have four reference cards. So I guess after you take this out, okay, so this is the two ship, okay? So basically Saber Tube, uh, okay. So the, on the opposite side, there's no secret. It's just like when you flip it over, your ship is damaged. You, know, you cannot use this for landing. Same thing for the Leviathan, and you have a four reference card here. Okay, so this is like a reference card. Okay, so I'm gonna like keep this aside. Okay, and I'll just put it back here first. Okay, so the these are like the big cards. We all got all the big card settles. Okay, let me just. I'll just put this one side. Okay, I'll let's do it off camera. And what else do we have? Let's settle the small cards. Okay, because um we'll go. We take the easy one. Our first divide conquer. So this doesn't come with the game, by the way. So this is my um, dry stick, made of diatomaceous earth. Okay, so it's supposed to absorb moisture. Okay, so even if it keeps dry, uh, not eat. Okay, I won't eat. I guess not. This is the one that comes with the uh, the game. Okay. So the same thing. These are divided into various uh, different type of cards. So they are like bridge cards. It starts with 19 and it counts down so um but you don't want to look at this side of it actually because this is the detail of the you want to look at this side instead so this gives you the overview of uh, what you want you know after you decided then you get this uh, upgraded and then this is what going to give you uh so you will want to reverse the order of these cards as well so you will like want to put it this way okay let me just show you a simple example Okay, so I've already done this for the whole box and then you put it this way it starts from 19 20 hours and then you slot this into your main games uh, slots and they will go in um, ascending order so that is the, the way that the card are meant to be arranged and this will include all the small cards in fact so you will see the this stuff from the bridge the lenders okay so which is the some of these are the lenders and the uh, and then the you also include the research the uh, and all the small cards as well so basically all the small cards are in this deck and then this is the unique discovery stuff okay so basically i think you will have all the small cards that's here okay yep and i think this is also small cards also if i'm not wrong no facility upgrades could be it could be okay i think that one we have probably have to figure out because there's a lot of colors here but i guess the colors are easy to tell you know it's like and they also tells you what sort of uh, this uh, campaign objective so you will look under uh you know um objective cards i hope so okay so i guess uh you know they they, they really should have just put you know big cards small cards it will make life a lot easier for me because now i have to figure out you know from the picture if this is a small card because i know so i know this is small cards small cards yeah and uh, situation card likely small cards because they are meant to put into the ship lock uh, so i guess most of these are small cards but unfortunately i think uh these tools are actually big cards because i already saw them being reviewed here so anyway all the small cards here make sure you count them you're not missing anything now let's go to the, all the you know big stuff so the big stuff will start from here okay so i have actually not mixed them up together but you will realize that they are like printed in a continuous order so there's certain order to it uh, as you sort them out you will know what i mean but they are all have a unique cover so behind like for example you have survivors so you will look at the look for survivors card so they are likely around wait 
survival cards yeah so there are like seven survival cards here so they're supposed to be like this that looks somewhat like this you know okay so start counting them from them and then uh they are also other cards like situations so uh situations also one of the things you actually face uh in the original game okay so these are mainly here uh, and then uh, they are the section cards so section cards are like the cards uh, you use for upgrading all your different section and they all have their own uh, you know symbols like the blue the purple the pink and there's i think yellow as well so that's how i remember my cards okay so so if you notice that there's section cards here but the section cards are not uh, all that there is because they are continued to another stack of cards which you will unwrap and the first card is actually a section card so this will give you a hint that uh, this is the continuation from there and you have more section cards and finally the yellow section as well and then you move on to uh, something else called research projects so research projects is probably one of this stuff here so as well you're supposed to have 12 of them and then you're supposed to follow by the um the production which is uh this looks like this production projects okay and then uh, you will have the, the purple line and stuff. This is the point of interest. So point of interest are a huge, humongous uh, bouts of cards, which is mainly the story cards. When you visit the planet, remember the planetopia? You're supposed to like flip some of this over. And then you know you have landscape and all this. See, you have landscape, right? And then uh, there's some effects and stuff. So this, there's 104 of them. So there's a lot of cards of there. So you see that no way everything is in this deck okay so where are all the rest of the cards then they are actually spread across the other uh, few decks here as you can see this is also point of interest the whole deck is almost point of interest but it's not there's mission behind so the mission cards are probably these cards okay so i will leave this to the end these are probably all point of interest cards as you can see they, they are arranged uh in reverse order again so you probably have to like flip them all over then uh, this stack is probably going to be a lot of uh so as you can see this point of interest so how this works is that this continue to this deck which is all point of interest cards okay and then you continue to this deck which actually ends the point of interest cards and has mission cards right and after the mission cards you will have uh, you know more mission cards continue on this deck which actually follow through and then you will have um let me see there's mission types I wonder what cards is this okay so this is like the different uh the, the different systems you go in there's certain landing conditions so these are actually uh i can't remember what sort of cards they call them uh landing cards yes right i, I got it right the mission is landing cards okay and then uh you have the global condition these are like the threats i mentioned which is actually here okay and then finally you're going to have another bench of cards which is like the hack facility or this so these are like the bad things that can happen on bridge these are like situation cards if i'm not wrong uh here they are yeah so these are situation cards so this is basically how all the cards have been uh, arranged in this uh, in this manner so i will like put them this way so that it makes life easy for me to get to sort it out and basically i think that's all you will get uh, in this um in the lost fleet expansion um basically that's a lot for stretch goal per se uh and i think it's a i hope it's a nice campaign but unfortunately i am pretty tied up with uh the chronicles of drone uh i actually wanted to stop that and jump right back to is vanguard but unfortunately i realized that the narration is not available on the app which is actually quite sad because i did like the narration and i think they are very dramatic and then it's like you know i really want that so i hope if you are listening to me at waker rams please put that up asap i want to start this as soon as possible you know i can't wait i've been like waiting for one whole year for this and you know it's like really i just want to start the next minute anyway thanks for watching and uh, i think i will unbox the daily frontier as well because i really want to count a card i really want to make sure i'm not missing any stuff uh, and then i really want to start the game i hope you all enjoyed this uh, video if you like my video please just uh, help me just click the like and then if you want to see more of this click subscribe and you'll be with me all the way i'll see you soon